is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. 1977 Gremlin X. Really cool car. Super good shape. Factory black with gold stripes. This is a factory four speed car. It is a 258. They had two engine options this year and top option was the 258 uh, two barrel, but this is for sure a Gremlin X. It is an original paint, as you can see here. The paint, the hood has been uh, primered, just black. There was actually, when I got it, it was, there was some body work here and they had kind of blended it in kind of on the front of the fenders and on the hood and the paint really fell off and, and just a little bit right here. Um, pretty light stuff, but we went ahead and just flat black the hood. I think it uh, looks a lot better, but really cool car. Been parked for a lot of years. Actually, if you guys remember on Bring a Trailer, I had that Gremlin um, X, that uh, XR uh, 401 car. Actually, I'd sold this to a friend of mine in Portland, man, probably six or seven years ago, and he ended up with that Gremlin XR, the Randall one, the purple one that was on Bring a Trailer. Uh, anyways, I bought it from him, and then uh, a couple years later, he said, hey, you want to buy your Gremlin back? And he never had it running or anything like that, and neither did I when he, I, I originally had it. So we put it all back together and got it running and driving. Um, I originally kind of bought it uh, kind of in a field. And actually, it was just a part lady had brought it out here from back east, and it uh, sat for many, many, many years. Um, probably since the late 80s. So anyway, super co cool car. I'm gonna do a little walk around on it. It's not perfect, but it's a rare car overall. So it does have an NOS grill in it. The original one was uh, shot. Um, it's hard to find gremlin parts in general because you're just not gonna, you know, they don't reproduce a lot of things. And uh, so it's just like restoring a motorcycle or something like that. You work with the best parts you can get, but the, uh, the grill there is probably about 700 bucks. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and show you the lights. Got marker lights, headlights, bright lights, and we got turn signals. Got our left, and we got our right. All that's working. Um, you can see the bumper is actually really nice and straight, but it does have a lot of pitting, a lot of crazing and stuff like that. You can see some heavier surface rust on this edge. You can see the marker light works. Um, it's actually a clean, pretty clean car overall. When you look down the sides, fairly straight. There is a couple little dings right here and here. And then there was a little body molding that went down the side like a dealer would put on it. Um, and you can see kind of the, the residue um, where it took off some of the paint. Um, and then also these gremlins, really common, even that XR, the body on the, the doors did not line up very well. Uh, tires are brand new, 2019. You can see right there, I actually put these on it, some BFGs, P205 7014s. These are uh, AMC wheels. They would have had a dog dish on them, but it's got volcano caps on it and trim rings. And uh, that's kind of the way I got it. Actually, believe it or not, those were on the XR um, when I first got the car. Uh, so we ended up putting them on this one. You can see the stripe is original, but it's definitely aged for sure. Windshield is in good shape. A couple little, not chips or anything like that, but just, you know, regular road rash. VIN number is intact. You can see here, we'll take a picture of that for you. Um, little, you can see a couple little bubbles in the front of the fender. I mean, the, the door, there's that ding. I won't point out every little thing. Um, rocker looks really good. Actually, the undercarriage is awesome in this car. And I have pictures of it, I believe, before we put carpet in it uh, as well. We redid all the brakes, put a head gasket on it. Um, a lot of different things. The other thing about this car being a factory, 
four speed that's really rare is factory air conditioning and the AC doesn't work but that's definitely a unicorn option uh, in these cars and actually a lot of cars back then uh, usually they wouldn't um, have cars with four speeds um, especially in Mopars and, and stuff you, it was hard to order them like that um, gutters look really nice not rusty you know you can see a little you know where the body um, the seams were here you can see a little bit where the seam is here where the lead is moved I like the deflector back here it's almost like it's aluminum here and then uh, metal here you can see the little pop um, little uh, um, oh I don't know what they call those crazing or a uh, little surface rust on it the winch the wind uh, the rear window here should have a little piece of trim right up here it should go all the way around it's missing on the car um, I'd probably just leave it like that unless you can find it I like I love the rear view on these cars really cool in general uh, you can see the marker light works here we got tail lights we got one light here uh, don't have one over here couldn't find a bulb for it not like you can't get one but uh, they're kind of a special order kind of thing um, go ahead and uh, turn the brake lights on brake lights we got blinkers left and right and um, the reverse I'm not going to show them they're not working right now we'll take a little peek at them again uh, we looked real fast but we were working on so much more mechanical stuff on the car we just did a ton of stuff uh, to it so um, never got a chance to really kind of uh, look at that um, go ahead and rev it up a little bit I was gonna tell you it doesn't blow smoke and that's not smoke it's just uh, it's not blue or anything like that um, it's just regular exhaust it's hard to tell on video um, you look down this side here around the quarter panels and stuff look really good no rust around the wheel lips or anything like that um, here you can still see the lead right there but roof looks good gutter looks really good um, if you look down here at the bottom of the quarter it looks nice you can see a couple little bubbles right here starting to form you know the paint is old you know there's no doubt little thing um, but I try to keep it in as original paint if I could uh, just because I like the age of it this side here was affected more by the Sun obviously where it was parked big long scratch right here um, a couple little bubbles right there in that bottom of that fender but again actually in pretty good shape little scratches big ding right there another ding so overall super cool car um, we're gonna take a look at the interior for you we're gonna take take a look at the uh, engine compartment I'll put it up on my lift so you can see it uh, inside now take a look at the interior real fast just wanted to show you the door shuts pretty nice for one of these cars actually uh, interior is nice rally wheel gremlin x interior though if you look on the uh, window sticker it says hopscotch which was the uh, the main interior for these cars it would have been a plaid but this is the rally perforated uh, uh, material and if you look in that brochure this is the uh, correct uh, interior for the car and they have not been redone that leads me to believe too that uh, the miles are probably pretty true uh, on the car but I don't have any documentation on that you can see one little tiny tiny split right there on that seam that could probably be fixed um, if you look at the pedals not very much wear on that clutch pedal and that would have a lot of wear on it there's a chunk taken out of this, so it's not worn off, it actually ripped off. 
um, and you can see the gas pedal's not all worn out. You know, the thing was parked for years, late 80s, so it only been on the road for probably 10 years or so. Um, you can look at the dash pad, in great shape. Um, we did put carpet in it. Take a look at the back seat here real fast for you. Back seat is really in nice condition. And when I originally found this car, uh, a friend of mine had found it, uh, a lady named Mary uh, had had it, um, brought it from back east. Um, but it doesn't have that back east uh, kind of issues with uh, rust, except in the uh, uh, doors, you'll see a little bit. Um, but the floorboards are really nice. I uh, took the carpet out, uh, put new carpet in it, and I, I believe I took pictures of that. I'll have to put them up on the auction. Uh, steering wheel is in really good condition. You can see the factory four speed. Cigarette lighter's not working. And I took it for a drive, so I don't know how I'm going to put the video together. But I didn't think the radio worked. I, I never saw that button that said on and off. And you can hear the seatbelt light works. Oil pressure alt light works. Um, maybe I should put that in neutral. I was going to start it. And you can see the uh, alt light and the oil light came off. The fasten seatbelt light will, uh, the noise will come off the buzzer, but the light will stay uh, lit up. So there's that hood release. Um, AC right there, but the AC is not working. Heater works and everything like that. Um, temp gauge, all that stuff works in general. So uh, you can see a little bit of rust right here, kind of forming right here in the corner of the door. You can see it's kind of eight out on the inside. If you look here, same thing on this door as well. All the original tags, catalyst sticker, everything is there in general. You look at the rest of the jams, they're in really nice uh, condition as well. Um, headliner, these are almost impossible to find. And this one is really, really nice. It's a cardboard headliner. You can see the dome light there works off the uh, switch here. So that's nice that that works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the back here. Right here I didn't mention too, unleaded fuel only. That was a little sticker that was there, but compartment looks good back here. Uh, if you look underneath here, there's the floors. And basically the floors pretty much look like that uh, with the front carpet. Now you can see all the spot welds and stuff in there. Uh, so that's actually pretty clean. If you flip this latch, seat will flip forward. Um, this panel is in really nice condition. The spare would have went here. That's what this little lat, this little hook down is here. And a little indention uh, right there. It probably had one of those uh, little skinny uh, little spares. Take a look at the interior on this side real fast. Door panel looks great. Dash pad looks good. You can see, hope you can see that. Maybe I'll go out here. You can see a little crack right there in the dash pad. I guess so you got the pad and then this back pad. Um, the jams look really good all the way around. This door looks pretty good too. Um, take a look at this jam here. That's just some wax right there, but I picked off a little thing earlier there but it, to see if it was rusty and it didn't look like it was rusty to me. Again, seat looks good. Flip this seat back forward for you. See how that, that works really easy. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. Now the dome light works uh, when you open the door over here. There's a little actuator switch. There you go. Uh, but it's not working over on the other side. And the reason I, I had made that work is because I used it on the dash. So um, seat belts are original. And it's amazing too that this little plastic surround, really hard to find, isn't cracked. Pretty amazing in general. I'll show you the glove box real fast. 
And again, I was going to show you that pedal. See how it's eat? It's like it broke off, you know, so not a lot of wear on that in general. I think it just got ate off or something like that. So definitely a nice car inside. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. I'm gonna take a look at the underneath the hood here real fast there's a lever underneath the uh, hood actually on your right kind of below the uh, radio uh, and it just needs to be pulled and then there's a little lever right there and hopefully oh, I did I did it with one hand it's got springs so you don't have a prop rod this is the original 258 you can see it's got a smog pump that's not hooked up factory air conditioning as well uh, factory four speed this is a two barrel uh, I took a picture of the uh, carburetor off we redid all the brakes uh, new master it's got uh, disc up front and uh, drums in the back all that stuff's been changed hoses and everything we put a new head gasket on it it does have power steering as well so this thing has a lot of options for a gremlin so pretty rare uh, to find uh, in general. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, sounds real smooth and has everything that should be be here in general. Um, all this, all the smog stuff is here. I'm not going to tell you that you're going to pass smog down in uh, California. I don't know why it wouldn't because everything's there. The only problem they would have is this pump's not hooked up. So. Um, You'd have to figure that out. And you can see here, it's got the right pulley. So I imagine that pulley just goes from there to there uh, with the belt. So the other thing I want to look at underneath here is no damage inside here. Dog towers look good. No nose damage at all. Um, I told you there was some filler in the, uh, the hood uh, in general. But you can see it didn't really do much damage to the hood in general underneath or anything like that and a couple spots of filler there was like a spot here just right here and here so but overall very clean car and uh, runs really good pretty amazing actually especially with the four speed you just don't see these cars like that so we'll take a look at some more stuff for you. steering wheel shake 
which is good. And oh, for fun, now I've got the heater on, now I'm burning up. Go ahead and uh, honk the horn and uh, give us some wipers. There you go. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Hey, we're gonna take a look at the gremlin underneath. Obviously, you're gonna see the uh, still photos and stuff on the auction, um, but I like to do videos so you can see exactly what a car is. Um, I can kind of point at different things and, and just show you different things in general. So um, <clears throat> this is the actually second thing that I actually look at uh, when I buy a car anyways. You know, I just wanna see the goods and the bads and everything like that, but structure is everything and really, really important. So anyways, we'll just start here to the front to the back. Um, you know, it's actually really, really solid underneath. It's not rusty, all the rockers uh, look good. The floors look good, frame rails, everything's very clean. No signs of any accidents uh, or anything like that. Um, you know, the main areas of rust that I showed you before were basic on the, on the inner doors, um, but this is actually in remarkable uh, shape. You can see the front balance area looks really good a little dent right here um, but everything else looks good in general up here around the nose you can see some surface rust underneath the bumper there but um, you know everything on uh, gremlins is really hard to find it's like restoring a vintage motorcycle you know they don't make a lot of reproduction parts so the nice thing about this car is it's all there and um, everything's intact um, we did redo all the brakes. There's pictures of the wheels off. Uh, there's new rotors and everything. Um, we've got new hoses, brake hoses on it. We didn't change calipers. Um, we didn't have to, but it's got new brake hoses and everything like that. It's got a uh, disc on the front and drums in the rear, and we redid all the brakes in the rear as well. It's got new shocks all the way around. Monroe Maddox, you can see there. Um, we did detail the engine, it's not rebuilt or anything like that, but we did put a new head gasket on it and put a lot of different gasket stuff on the engine uh, in general. We did repair the uh, bottom of the um, uh, battery box, you can see here, welded in a new piece. But you, if you look up around, everything is very clean up inside here. No accidents up there in the nose, really, really clean. Like I said before, this thing's an original paint uh, besides the hood um, that's in primer. But that hood was mostly original paint when I got it uh, too. But uh, you can see here in the nose, again, looks really good up there around the shock tower. Everything's really, really clean. <clears throat> Tires, I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier, 2019. You can see the four digits back here. Um, and I know they're 2019 because I bought them and put on it. Uh, oil's been changed. Also, if you look here, this date, 320, that means when I ch replace the, uh, the gear oil, and the same on the rear end as well. Oil changed, 320, you can see that up there as well. New starter. If you want to take a look at the floors here, they actually look really, really good. This isn't rust right there. It's just where some of the undercoating came off. So hopefully you can see that. It's actually really clean on the floors down here in the bottom where you put your foot probably your dimmer these two little that's where a dimmer switch is if you look inside here really nice still has its cat on it we did put a new muffler and tailpipe on it here if you look here again the floors and inner rocker very very nice so it's actually hard to find a gremlin like this uh, but this car sat for years and years and years you can see the frame rail again very very nice in general because it wasn't on the it wasn't on the road I think it went off the road in the late 80s so you can see the new shocks you can see it's got new uh, rear wheel cylinders the rear end we uh, replaced the put new gasket and everything new gear oil and everything looks looks good trunk drop-offs great shape 
Frame rails again, no rust, not all tweaked or anything like that. Again, there hasn't been any accidents here on this car. You can see this trunk drop off is really good too. Back here, very clean. You can see the tail is in good shape, not all rusty, and actually really clean overall. So hopefully that gives you a, a good look at it uh, underneath. And you're just, you know, going to take a look at the pictures, but this is a no reserve auction. It is a pretty rare car, obviously, because it is a Gremlin X and it is factory four speed with air conditioning. And you do not see these cars in that uh, configuration at all. Very, very rare. So anyways, uh, if you want a cool Gremlin, here it is. No reserve. Um, bring a trailer auctions. Check it out.